Let me bring in now Kim Whaley, a former assistant U.S. attorney now at the University of Baltimore School of Law, who worked with Brett Kavanaugh in the independent counsel's office during the Whitewater investigation. And Kim, it's a pleasure to have you on considering your sort of relationship with Kavanaugh, that you, you had a chance to be a colleague of his. So given that, is there any credence to this idea that some Democrats are talking about, that the president picked Kavanaugh partially because of his views on presidential powers when it comes to investigations? Kavanaugh has written before about the idea that a sitting president should not have to undergo these kinds of investigations. Well, I think that article, what he said was that Congress had passed legislation limiting the ability of uh, the prosecutors to act, investigate a sitting president. Whether that that would be something that constitutionally he would draw a line? I just don't know. He mm -hmm. is a separation of powers hawk. That is, he believes in strong powers for all three branches of government. And I think what's really interesting here, and we won't know this, is whether he would endorse what basically Mitch McConnell did in stealing this seat from one of his colleagues, Merrick Garland, um, for political reasons. I think uh, based on his judicial philosophy, the idea would be that was President Obama's decision, mm -hmm. and there shouldn't have been that kind of a, um, a cynical approach to Supreme Court justice. Can you talk a little bit about what Kavanaugh might be like for these Supreme Court justices as a colleague? What was he like as your colleague? Uh, he's very affable. He really is truly one of the most intelligent lawyers I've mm. ever I've ever worked with. I think he, he has a first-class intellect. He's a very hard worker, and he's creative. My guess would be that he is going to, with year, if he's confirmed over right. years, he's going to stand out as someone who makes some real, uh, a real imprint on this court one way or the other. Let's look at where he might make that imprint, where he might end up sitting on the court. There's a lot of analysis this morning about where he would fit in. So here's our graphic of that as you take a look at kind of the makeup. Some people have him closer to Clarence Thomas, others closer to John Roberts. Our Pete Williams says you, you can't really know for sure yet because he's not on the court. He hasn't been making these decisions as we take a look at that here. Where do you see Kavanaugh fitting in? And do you agree with Pete's assessment that it's just too soon to tell? Yeah, I would say it's too soon to tell. I mean, I think there's probably three big categories. One has to do with corporate interests. And in that instance, I don't think he's going to swing anything because Kennedy was sort of on the right already. Then we've got the question of separation of powers and presidential power. A lot of potential questions that could come up. Can the pardon, uh, president pardon himself, yeah. you know, et cetera. Um, and then the third part has to do with individual rights, you know, uh, the, the Bill of Rights. And, you know, people can read that broadly and let, let lots of people in the tent. Or narrowly, my guess would be Judge Kavanaugh would probably have a narrow reading on that, although he's been split on questions like the Fourth Amendment. He's been split on the uh, Affordable Care Act. He's made a dis, uh, dicta and decision He's indicated that reproductive rights have a compelling state interest in protecting contraception. So, so I think he's going to be an independent mm. thinker. Uh, I really don't. He's not going to be on the far left for sure. But I don't think he's going to be a, an ideologue. I don't think he's going on the. He would be going on the court with a political agenda and just rubber stamp anything that is seems to be conservative. I think he's going to think for himself. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel. Why don't you subscribe? It's really easy. Just click on that button down there. And for more news from MSNBC, click on any of these videos here for the latest interviews and highlights. You can get more videos from MSNBC with our newsletters. Head over to msnbc.com newsletters to sign up.